The summer can be brutal on our yards. When there's no rain and blazing heat, both cool and warm season grasses can suffer a lot. Let's today talk about a product that can help the lawn during this stressful situation. Hi, I'm Mike and welcome to Mike's Home and Garden. Thank you for joining me for another video. Now, if this is your first time here and you want to learn about lawn care, boost your curb appeal, and do other home improvement projects, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss out. So most grass types really cannot handle the extreme summer heat when there's no relief for weeks on end and no rain. Unless you have a top-notch irrigation system that was installed professionally, it's really hard to keep up with the watering demands of a yard during this time to avoid it from getting stressed out and damaged or even with some cool season grass types going dormant. Today, I wanna to talk about my front lawn and some of the heat-related issues I've been dealing with and try out a product that's designed to help our lawns through the stressful summer months. I'll put some timestamps down in the description so you can move around the video to the information you need, but I encourage you to watch all the way to the end so you can see the results. My lawn faces east, so with that it gets full sunlight during the mid-morning and midday period where the sun is very intense. You can see these dry areas where the tree offers no shade relief and both grass types are struggling. We haven't had rain in a couple weeks and the forecast is very hot and very dry for the foreseeable future. So I did some research into some products that could help the lawn during these stressful summer months and I landed on a product that looked really interesting to me. Now keep in mind this is not a sponsored video. This is something that I was doing to solve a problem on my lawn and I want to share the information and results with you the viewer. Through my research I landed on Yard Mastery's Stress Blend Fertilizer. Their website has a write-up on the product and the reason for the high level of potassium in it. In short, it says that during their testing trials they found that the high level of potassium in the product gave strong results in lawns when it came to heat tolerance and reducing signs of stress. And this makes sense when you think about the NPK of fertilizer. The N, nitrogen, is for above ground growth. The P, the phosphorus, is for root development. And the K, the potassium, which is the higher number in this product, is for all around plant health and durability. Simply put, the makeup of the fertilizer and the why behind they did what they did with the formula made sense to me, so I'm gonna try it out. The products ship fast. Now I'm a proponent of being able to get products easily from the big box stores, but online shopping is big now, so being able to get something online and shipped fast still fits my goal. I'm going to follow the bag rate instructions for the amount to apply, as well as the setting on my spreader. Start with a lawn that's been recently mowed and is dry. Do a perimeter pass around the edges of your yard, and then walk in straight lines about five feet or so apart to ensure even coverage. Now once you go in one direction, follow that up going the perpendicular direction to form a grid pattern. The idea is to leave no spot in the lawn uncovered with fertilizer. Once you're done applying it, blow off any excess from the walkways and the street to avoid any staining to the concrete and then water it in. Normally I would suggest putting your fertilizer down the day before or the day of a forecasted rainstorm to let mother nature do the watering for you. But in my forecast, there is no rain in sight for the foreseeable future. So this evening, I'm gonna break out the sprinklers and water in the product. So now, let's fast forward to next week and see how does the lawn look. All right, it's been a little bit over a week since the application of the stress blend on the front lawn. So let's talk about the results. With the results of putting this product down also comes the reality that lawn care is never perfect and there's always going to be other variables that come along that affect the goals that we're trying to achieve. And I'm saying all that because since the week ago application of the fertilizer, we still have had no rain. The sun has been really intense and now with that we're getting closer to summer, the humidity has shown up. And with that, I've started seeing some lawn disease show up in the front lawn on top of the heat stress that I was trying to fix. I'm getting control of the lawn disease. I've been treating it and it's the content for an upcoming video. Lawn disease with the heat and humidity is a very common symptom in lawns this time of year, so be sure to stick around for the next video to see the results of that treatment. But back to the stress blend. In the areas of the lawn that I applied the fertilizer to that aren't affected by disease, I am seeing some good results. I've been keeping the lawn watered and mowed consistently as I had been before the stress blend application. And now in the areas where brown patch is not impacting it, the lawn is looking a lot better. Now, if you're enjoying this video, be sure to smash that like button and drop me a comment down below. Doing so tells YouTube that you like this video and that they should share it with other lawn enthusiasts. Thanks. Now, a few thoughts on the product. It's really easy to use. The instructions on the bag are very clear and being a granular product, application is pretty simple. You just need a broadcast spreader. 
As I touched on earlier in the video, it has a high level of potassium in the product to help the lawn overcome and combat stressful situations, but it also has nitrogen in it. What I like about the nitrogen product in this fertilizer is it's an organic slow release nitrogen, similar to malorganite. Having a slow release nitrogen allows the lawn to be fed and green up, but not push growth so fast like a synthetic fertilizer might to cause additional stress. The slow release product will slowly allow the nitrogen uptake to happen, but not cause the plant to grow too fast and then cause more stress in the heat, which we're trying to fix or avoid in the first place. One other observation is the fertilizer is a standard prill size and you'll see all the different ingredients mixed together with the different colors of prills. It's not a greens grade prill where it's really, really small and all the ingredients are mixed together and then the fertilizer is formed from that. I don't think this affects the performance of the fertilizer at all, just something I wanted to observe and share with you, the viewer. Overall, I think the product is great. The results are speaking for themselves. Like I said, it's a marathon, not a sprint, and the lawn is gonna to continue to improve as I keep watering and use this product in the future. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. I have a video coming out soon talking about summer lawn disease, how to prevent it, or if it has already shown up in your lawn, how to get rid of it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.